Jake's studio on vintage guitars, New Zealand's home of vintage guitars. So, we've got a custom shop, triple, uh, custom shop 0028, with Carpathian spruce, Guatemalan back and sides. That's the, the signature details here. It's a scallop top, it does not have hide glue. It's got the stamp on the back, it's got the decal on the front, modern low, low profile neck. But really this guitar is about showcasing the wood types. So this is the third guitar I've played with Guatemalan Rosewood. And I've got to say, I'm a believer. Uh, there is a lot of great opportunities in Guatemalan Rosewood. Uh, we have this one as well, the D28. Uh, this is basically an authentic. It's missing some of the authentic uh, ideas, but it's an Adirondack top. They're very similar, and the other Guatemalan guitar that I've played from Martin is uh, the guitar that uh, was made for George Gruen on his 50th anniversary of owning the shop. Um, and all three of them have really blown me away, and it's because of the Guatemalan Rosewood. So we, when we did this video, we had a nice chat kind of uh, chime in and say, in his opinion, Guatemalan is the second after uh, Brazilian rosewood, and he was saying that it takes kind of eight to ten years to cure. So this guitar is a 2015. Um, it's hopefully you can hear just kind of how that really boxy sound that you want from kind of old Martin. Now I've heard people say you know the back and sides doesn't really affect the tone or only affects the tone so much, but now kind of having a bit more experience with the Guatemalan, what I'm really noticing is the Guatemalan, uh, you know, the back and sides kind of gives you the, the finishing qualities of the note. So the top, you know, it's spruce, and then the varying kind of rigidity of that spruce gives you a different response. So Carpathian, they say, is kind of in the, it's European, that's Romania, um, where it comes from, and it's, uh, they kind of say it's in between the Adirondack Sitka sound. So, you know, you could say Sitka uh, is a soft, kind of more mellow on the scale, and then you'd say Engelman is a little bit mellower than that, and you say Adirondack is kind of at the higher end of the scale, um, you know, being a little bit, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say harsh, but it's it's sharper than, than Sitka. And I'd say Carpathian sits somewhere kind of in there. Now, Carpathian has been, um, it seems like it's been kind of the premium wood that Martin have offered. Uh, I saw that on a few custom shop models, including the, the David Gilmore um, 6 and 12 strings. And comparing, uh, thinking of this sound and listening to it, it's somewhere near the kind of German spruce sound. I think personally right now, German spruce is the one that I really like. But I find with this guitar, so the back and side, There's a nice kind of thud from the, the back and side. Um, I'm not sure if Carpathian is, is responds well to a pick. We have uh, 53 to 12 Phosphor Bronze John Pierce on these. They're a little bright, they're brand new. But I'm not. Sh I'm just trying to figure out right now if, if the Carpathian responds well to a pick like Adirondack does. You know, that's Adirondack really responds well when you're playing with a pick. But in this, this one seems to be really liking the finger picking. of the guat is um, it's very potent so say on the East Indian Rosewood I had to in my guitar I had to dig in a little bit harder with my thumb but when I'm doing this stuff I'm kind of rest stroking and I'm not really digging in like I'm not overly digging digging in um, it's kind of like is there a good back and sides that you know can uh, reinforce the sound enough that you don't have to play with a thumb pick. I don't play with a thumb pick and I don't 
I like them, but I find them limiting in some ways. But very versatile, very versatile for playing because you can kind of switch between flat picking and all of that, which is very... But as far as kind of your attack, you're kind of stuck with the attack once you've got it. Yeah, so um, we basically are going to swap this for a 0028. So if you're interested in a 0028, please um, let us know because we'll be getting that in probably in the next few weeks once this goes out to its new owner. And we'll just see kind of how, how it gets along. But yeah, once again, it's essentially just a golden era uh, top, so scallop bracing with Carpathian spruce. I don't know the thickness of it. I don't know... Uh, if they've experimented with Carpathian, how thin they can they can cut it, but this is very responsive, so it's, it, it seems that it's quite thin, and the scale bracing is very light, and just the slightly shorter scale length on a guitar like this also is great. For fingering. Yeah, but anyway, that's um, this is our 2015 Custom Shop 0028 in Carpathian in Guatemala. Uh, if you like this content, please like, subscribe and share. My name is Nick Brightwell and this is Studio One Vintage Guitars. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Cheers.